Hey everybody, this is Shannon. I am back with the second half of the thousand dollar halves hunt. I hope everybody's doing well and uh, having a great new year and thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Big shout out to my lovely ladies at the bank. Really appreciate all your assistance. Thank you so much. Also, big shout out to RFT and JD's Variety Channel and Robin Hood Coins and Silver Seeker. You guys are a huge inspiration. Thank you so much for doing what you do. So let's get into this half dollar hunt. I figured I'd cut this one open live just because I didn't do that on the last one. And I feel like when I watch other people do videos, I really like to see when they cut them open live, so let's see what happens. Here we go. Now, before we unveil the top, I just want everybody to know how thankful I am that you're watching my videos. And that you're out there doing your own thing, having fun, doing this kind of thing. It's really cool. It's a lot of fun. So thank you. All right, here we go. I don't see anything that's outwardly silver on the top. But let me go ahead and uh, check some of the other enders in the box, and we'll see what happens, and I'll bring you back. All right, there's no enders that I can see, but I do not know what's on the very bottom of all the, the rolls. I just know what's on the bottom of this roll and every other roll um, and the top of that roll. So we will see. There's still kind of a surprise element. Let me bring you guys in if I find something good. So I'm on roll number eight. And I haven't really found anything except for this one. 2005 NIFC. Not in bad shape. It's pretty good. Pretty decent. I think I'll keep it. And I opened this roll and I found a shiny one. So I wanted to bring you guys in and do this together because... I've found shiny ones like this before and they end up being proofs, but sometimes they end up being really nice 70s coins because they're thicker. So let's see what we got. Ooh. You know, this is the second time this has happened to me. By the way, uh, correction from the last video, I told everybody that that was box number four. Now, that was not box number four. That was actually box number five. Um, but box number four had no silvers in it. It was just proofs that I found in that box. So this is box number six. And this is just a nice 81P with a gash on Kennedy's head. So he's going into the box. So I'll bring you back if I find anything else. I wanted to bring you guys in on this one because... This is the thickest edge I think I've ever seen. Now I don't, uh, I don't know what it is yet, but I'm sure you can see it. I'll bring it up for a close up. Look at how thick that edge is. Right there. It doesn't look normal. So let's see what it is. Wow, that is just a really thick 74. Holy cow. It looks like it's been sanded. It's got scratches going in every direction. Both sides. I don't know if you can see that. See the scratchiness? Wow. Kind of bizarre. 
but that is a thick coin. It's very thick. Wow. Oh, false alarm. I think we may have done it, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not 100% sure. I can't really see any copper. But it's got that dark edge that looks like it could be silver. I'm not sure. Oh. Look at that. It could be. It could be. Focus. Focus. Focus for us. Come on, focus. Focus. There we go. It's focusing a little bit. There we go. Oh, yeah. What do you guys think? I don't know. It could be silver. <sighs> okay. The anticipa anticipation is killing me. It's not a silver. Oh, I didn't think so. 72. So close. God, that edge had me going. It looks silver all the way around. <laughs> what a crapshoot. Oh, bummer. All right, I'll bring you back if I find something. So here's something nice. We really haven't found anything except for a couple of little stacks of uh, 74, 73, and 82 and 83. And now I've got this ultra shiny one here. It's probably just an NIFC. It's not super thick or anything. So, let's see what it is. Yep, 2017. Nice NIFC. Very nice. Gorgeous. Great shape. Okay. That makes three so far. A 2005, 2002, and 2017. While we're here, take a look at this one. 77. Oh, and that one was a 95. All right, I'll bring you back if I find something cool. Okay, we're at the halfway point. And my hope is that the back end, the bottom end of this box is the beginning of what was the front end of the last box which was where I found all my silver in the last box it was all in the top row so wish me luck cuz if it doesn't happen it's okay but if it's gonna happen it's gonna happen now so we'll see you in a few minutes we have a shiny guy, and it's shinier than anything that I've seen so far tonight. So I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful that it's not just an NIFC. I think that might be a proof. It looks a little proofy, but I don't want to get my hopes up because this box is dead. You know, that's the way it is. That's the reality is you just never know what you're going to get in any of these boxes you might get a bunch like the last time I got seven and seven really isn't a lot but it seemed like a lot because it seemed like they just kept coming but this guy right here seems really good and it might not be a proof it might just be like a really good NIFC but I don't know it looks pretty proof like all right I'm not getting my hopes up I'm just gonna pull it out yep yeah. Not a proof, but it's a 2018 and it's beautiful. My goodness. I got a couple of 2018s last time and they were in really good shape and those were the newest NIFCs that I'd ever found. And this one's actually in better shape. So that's really cool. I'll put it in the pile. It's the nicest NIFC of the night. The nicest coin of the night, actually. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else in there. But, um, there's a nice toner. Ooh, oldie toner. 72. Yeah, yo. 
spent some time underground. Okay, I'll bring you back if I find something groovy. Guys, you are not going to believe this. I had an ender the whole time. Didn't even know it. Didn't even know it. It's not in great shape, but this was the last coin in that. Oh. It's not perfect. It's definitely pretty well circulated. But it's a 1981 proof. It is beat up. But it still looks pretty good on the reverse. But the obverse is tore up. Still. Still a proof. Still an 81S. I will take it. First proof of the box. Cool. Now I've got two empty box syndrome. Okay. So I'll give you a little recap. I did save some uh, 82s and 83s. Um, but I checked them for the no FG and they all had an FG. So now I've got uh, a pile of 73 and 74 Ds. And the finds of the box was a 2002, really kind of not, not great NIFC 2002, not great. I mean, it's, eh, it's like watermarked and probably spent some time in a puddle or something. It just doesn't look that great. It's kind of chewed up looking. It's kind of gross. Looks better on the camera than it does in person, actually. Um, and then we've got... Let's see, y'all. The best NIFC of the night, the 2018. That was a good one. I will be holding on to that. And we had a 06, 07, 17, 02, 05. So those are good. And basically the best find of the night, which is not super great. It's got the ring of death on it. And it's really chewed up. But it is still a proof. 1981 S. Kennedy half dollar proof. Still beautiful. Even though it is kind of beat up. Still pretty. I love proofs. I will keep it. And then I found this like fire coin. Which is pretty cool. Definitely looks like it. Spent some time in a fire. Might have even been gold-plated at one time. Who knows? It's pretty beat up, though. I'll probably throw that one back as well. So that was pretty much it. Cold box. Cold, cold box. But I still have a, a little bit of NIFCs from the last party that we had. And a little bit of 74s and 73s that I'm going to be looking for. I'm going to add these to that pile. And one day we'll go through all those together. That will be fun. Um, but for now, I mean, man, you just, you just never know. You know, you get two boxes at the same time. And one of them is killer good. And one of them is absolutely nothing. Well, I mean, aside from that proof. But... You just never know. It's the roll of the dice. So I can't wait for next Friday. Or this upcoming Friday, I should say. Uh, when I get my next box. So yeah, or two boxes, I should say. So, uh, happy hunting to everybody. And thank you so much for watching. I'm going to wrap it up. And uh, I will talk at you later. Thank you so much. Bye.